Today we're going to talk about Blood Also Gundam The Witch from Mercury Episode 2. So, keep on watching. Here's the moral line of this episode, guys. This episode was on aftermath mode. At least in the first two thirds of the episode. At all. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First order of business is the thumbnail. <laughs> if the final scene of this episode uh, did uh, come to you as a sign of things to come, I don't know what will. Everyone knows by this time that a Gundam is now out in the open. And looks like the uh, the Baron group has approved so let us Gundam, si Ariel. Ngayon ang tanong, sino ang pilot dito? Alright? And to which company does it belong? <clears throat> Nakaka-intriga guys, okay? Nakaka-intriga. So, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of the episode. Base! We can... Uh, we can assure ourselves that um, this had a slow but excruciating pacing. Now, it's quite unusual, but if you would take a look at the storyline of the episode more closely, dapat na ang pacing na to. Kasi, kung hindi ka rito yung pacing, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng aftermath feels. Because, what we saw here in the, in the episode are the, the events that happened after Soleta uh, beat Jewel in that duel in the pilot. At tapos nalaman ng uh, ng the dueling committee that the, the mobile suit she was using was a Gundam. You can actually feel the agonizing uh, mental anguish that Soleto was experiencing here. Although, hindi, hindi siya masyadong pinakita. And somehow, I felt that from Miurin, what Miurin actually went through in this episode. I'll just explain it later, alright? So that's the basic uh, that's what I think of the pacing of this episode. Slow, but excruciating. But, look more closely at this episode's story. Sa lang ang pacing na to. You really need to feel what the, how, how great the consequences are uh, when, when Soleta used this gun down in a duel. Flow naman. First gear shift here was... It was practically an introduction to a new character. Her name is Lady Prospera. She's the president of, uh, of the Shinsei Corporation that made this condom. No greater obligation there, folks. Because if you haven't seen the episode, abe, mala mala char as ni bul pala ang ang get up ni to, right? With mask. She doesn't look like military. She looks like an executive. Because President of the company, talaga yun ang forma, except for the mask. That makes her a uh, somewhat char as naval for this uh, for this Gundam series. Will she have implications further down the line in this anime? Based on uh, based on recent Gundam series, the character that wore such a mask, yep, factor. Now I don't know kung ano ano talaga magiging um, Parte niya rito sa anime na to. But for now, she's the president of a company that made this Gundam. Kinonfirm na niya later on. Second gear shift was when, what? Miurin uh, forged into the Ingrid Hiri. Well, not on whether or whether na inispat siya na si Soleta at ang kanyang Gundam o hindi. Like I said a while ago for, for the pacing of this episode, guys. Miurin grew a pair and she finally stood up to her father. And in the most opportune of times, during uh, well, what is considered a, uh, a closed door meeting, dito niya, kinongkota ang kanyang ama. If there's anything that this creature would tell you, it's this. Miriam's father is not only is he a dickhead, he is also a corrupt son of a bitch. Whatever he says goes. It just goes to show you um, that thing called character development. Ah, uh -uh. Miriam 
finally showed her balls here, right? On how tough a character she can be. Final gear shift was what? The technical final scene. Murin finally gets to see Suleta again. Ayun, what? That's a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Kasi sinabi na ni Murin ang uh, ang heads up kay Suleta. Maraming um. Uh, Maraming questions ang sumagi sa isip ko sa gearship na ito eh. Oh, that's what, that's, what, that's what gearships normally do. It'll make you think, it'll make you, um, it'll make you be worried of where this anime is going to. So these three gearships that I saw, yeah, these three define this episode. So, pero, I don't think you should watch only these three gear shifts in the episode. Watch the whole one. Right? Watch the whole one. Plot wise. Malinis. Because if you want to, um, uh, what you call this, impart those aftermath feels to the audience, you do not need ex uh, not explainer sequences don't, don't, uh, are not required actually in these kinds of episodes. Ang talagang bawal backstory and side story. Because you really want the audience to feel what the main protags were going through. Si Soleta, kinulong. Si Miri naman, what sort of under investigation and under suspicion, this is the way I see it guys, from her own father. Kaya siya uh, pinapalipat ang ibang eskwelahan. As a uh, as told here in the episode. Kaya, uh, you, you only need a clean plot to, um, to, to tell the audience what they are going through. And to make it as exclusive as possible. Kasi, uh, of course, sila ang main plot, you gotta cheer for them. And right now, I'm very sure, kung napanad yung episode na to, yun, mukhang medyo natuturog na mga puso nyo. So, you can really feel for both main protags for uh, in this episode, okay? and only a clean plot will do that. So pace, flow, and plot—they all came together for this episode, folks. Talagam. It's a great follow-up to the pilot, and yeah, I got those aftermath feels. And what well, the final scene just set us up for the next one. Great thumb, you know. So. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, Episode 2, No Brainer. Here's my parting shot for this episode, guys. Now that we have um, established the politics behind this, this whole Gundam series storyline, we can say now that uh, it's, it's no different from the other Gundam series. If there's any other anime franchise there that uh, that seamlessly cinches in the political angles of it, it's Gonda. Right? Now, there are there are lately there are um, Code Geass weaves for telling or telling everybody that no, no, no the, the political uh, the political angles of uh, of Code Geass is better. Bullshit! <laughs> Gundam innovated the political angle in an anime, not just for the mecha genre, right? It wouldn't be the franchise it is today if, if it didn't do that, if it, if it wasn't the first one who did, uh, who did that. Kung hindi sila nag-innovate sa ganang klaseng angulo sa isang storyline in an anime. I hate to say it to you, uh, Cold Geass fans, but marami pong bigas ang kakainin ng Cold Geass bago niya Maabot ang antas ng Gundam pinang franchise. Eh, well, where's Code Geass now? Nga nga. Wala na sumunod na scene. Wala na sumunod eh. Only a movie and an OVA. So, you, you still think, you still think uh, Code Geass is better than Gundam? <laughs> In your dreams. So again, Bobo Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury, Episode 2, 